G'day, Paul and Pauline here down by the river, just reading the word, getting inspired, getting encouraged, getting uplifted. What is in this word is so valuable. You want to get one yourself and open it up. Looking at Acts chapter 19, and it happened that while Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country and came to Ephesus. And there he found some disciples. And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we've not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptised? And they said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptised with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, and that is Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. They were about twelve men in all, and he entered the synagogue and for the three months spoke boldly, reasoning and persuading them about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That happened to me. I, people said, have you been baptised in the Holy Spirit? I said, never even heard of the Holy Spirit. And these two brothers in the Lord laid hands on me, and I was blessed with the filling of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And there's a beautiful cockies flying around here. So it's so important that you ask God to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come into you and his spirit will live, live in you and guide you into all truth. It's so lovely. Hey, Pauline. The Holy Spirit is, is lovely. He's, he's the comforter. And how often do we need comfort when it can't come from a person? or from even reading the word, but we can call on the Holy Spirit. We can say, Holy Spirit, I need your comfort now, or I need your revelation now, or please tell me what's, what I have to do. So he's, he's available and he's lovely and he's kind and gentle. There you are, a little word out of Acts. You get into the Word yourself and let the Word, word of God, God get, get into, into you. you. Bye for now. Bye.